Um, oh crap, I can't breathe. I came up with a brilliant idea. I was like, I'm gonna go to the dollar store. I'm gonna get five things, and each thing needs to be really weird. Now why did I do that? I don't know. Also, I wanna address the elephant in the room, my pimples. I know everybody's thinking about it just as much as I am. Let's take a moment to gander my pimples here. The dollar store is a very scary place because like everything's a dollar and you look at some things that are there that are being sold for a dollar that you know should not be sold for a dollar. Yeah, let's get started. Now the first item I got, I actually need to be blindfolded to open. So I got this hat that my grandmother knit. Um, I can kind of see through it. There. I cannot see through this hat. Um, oh crap. I can't breathe. So if I just like fold it a few times, sure, fine. I need to feel around the bag for this. The first item I got are these five erasers, and I'm going to see if I can identify what each scent is. I honestly cannot remember what scent erasers these are. I saw that it said that it really did erase clean, and I was like, it doesn't. It's from the dollar store. So here we have the first eraser. I'm gonna smell it here. I think it's grape. I don't know. This could be grape. I need to put this somewhere so I know it was the first eraser. Here's the second eraser. It smells like fake cherry cough medicine. Yeah, so I gotta put this... Oh no! Oh, oh no. Okay, I found the first one. I'm just gonna stack them in order. That's probably a lot more logical. Crap, was this the top one? I can't... Oh my god. Wait, hold on. That was grape. That was cherry. Okay, whatever. We have this one, which is... This smells like really fake blueberry. Really fake. This one, number four, um, I don't know. It smells like an eraser. And this one, I think it's grape. So now we have the five, and it's the moment of truth. Oh. So the first one was strawberry. You know what? I can't even remember what I said. The second one, orange. This does not smell like an orange. Then we have apple. Okay, I can see it. I can see it. Okay, I was right about the blueberry. Number four is a blueberry. I don't know. It smells like an eraser. I was right about the blueberry. I don't know. It's right about the blueberry. There's something about fake blueberry that is just distinguishable. I don't know. It smells like really fake blueberry. Distinguishable. Wait, no. Was this the one I said was an eraser? I got, I think, one of five. So the box said that it erased clean. Now we're gonna test it. This is a high stakes test because this is a very special book that my friend made. She actually made this for me. We're going to draw a little line in here and we're gonna see if these erasers can take it out. I just drew the line. Now Groovy Grape says that it can erase this clean. Now we will see. Okay, I'm actually shocked. It did it. These are great erasers. This was good money spent. Now we have our second Dollar Tree gift, which is fantastic. A Jonas Brothers 300 piece puzzle. This puzzle is from like 10 years ago from the Disney show Jonas that I'm pretty sure was on in like 2008. What is this doing in 2020 in a dollar store? I don't know. That means that this was sitting in like a warehouse for like 11 or 12 years. This puzzle has been sitting in a warehouse so that I could buy it for a dollar in 2020. It says age is six plus. This is a kid's puzzle, so like, I can definitely do this. And if not, it was a dollar. Why do people do puzzles for fun? Why does anybody watch this for fun? Actually, nobody's watching this for fun. Hi, mom. Now we're gonna get to the last three items of my dollar store haul. I'm gonna make a separate video about these three items because they're all crap. And I saw them and I was like, these are all really bad. So to buy them and make them on the internet. First is um, this. I don't quite understand what it is, but I think you paint a carrot on a rock. So I bought a rock at the dollar store and I'm gonna paint a carrot on it. Also the bottom was busted open, but all of them are busted open probably because it's a rock in a box. Look, it's literally a rock. I also purchased a fairy door. I just have a lot of questions about a fairy door painting set. I think I'm gonna make this and take it to work and put it on my desk just for all the world to see. Actually, I'll throw it out. Why would you not want a fairy door? 
that doesn't open, that goes nowhere. And the last product I purchased is probably the best one. It's the elephant in the room. So they have the clay elephant, or it's not clay, I don't know what it is, but it's an elephant, right? Yeah, so they have this elephant. Is that? Yeah, okay, so there's the elephant with three colors. That's not what's great about this elephant. It's that it has glitter in the back. Why do I need an elephant with glitter for a dollar? What am I gonna possibly do with this? I tell you what I'm gonna do with this crap. I'm going to make it, and then I'm gonna throw it out. That's all I got for my dollar store haul. I know five items really isn't a lot, but I don't wanna spend any more than five dollars. If you like this video, please subscribe. I'm going to make a video about the arts and crafts from the dollar store, so. Hopefully I'll see you there.